right guys today we're going to look at finding the uh, air conditioning evap drainage hose on the to toyota tacoma 2016 and if you open the hood it's on the passenger side right there see that little hose that little dongle hanging out there a little rubber hose goes into the passenger side cabin did you know you can actually burst some air up in there and, and unclog it if it's clogged if you have any water damage inside you can do that i'm gonna do what I do on an HVAC system at home is try to suck any dirt out of the evaporator. This is prior to me running the Toyota Evap cleaning kit, which I have on its way, which is all chemicals and foam. And then I'm gonna actually attach it at longer hose to this AC drainage hose, because when it does drain, you can see it drains and drips right onto the frame and uh, rust, 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 right? So I can extend the hose and I'm gonna do that after I run the cleaning kit through, and that should be here tomorrow, and I'll get that done. But did you know you can pull this hose into the cab for easy access? So that is what I am going to do. So let's go in. Come into the old Tacoma. Up, oh, pull the mat out. Let's get this mat out of here. All right, big daddies, you can pull the carpet back real easy just don't rip anything take your time take your time it's like a zen thing working on your car feel for any moisture back here and i don't really feel anything but what you can do what you can see now whoops phone slippage phone slippage oh my god ah. see that the hose comes in through a grommet into the firewall into your cab and then it goes into your evaporator right there it's kind of hard to get to that part it's tight in there but what you can do is simply it's kind of hard with one hand pull this through gently do, 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 do. pull the hose through and look at that and then if it is clogged up careful you might let's get this out of here if it is clogged up careful if it might come unclogged you might dump some crap onto your carpet so I would put a rag in that then. I held it real quick and I shook it. I'm gonna vacuum it and uh, see if I can pull anything out of this thing F before, like I said, before I uh, run the chemical, the uh, Toyota, it's a AC condenser cleaning unit is two parts. One is the foam agent, which you spray up into the hose. It's highly, highly corrosive or, you know, chemicals, man. And it'll go in there and clean out your evaporator for 15, 20 minutes, you do it twice and then you run some stuff through the intake and uh, get any, any damp smells. I do have some damp smell, but I did have the rear tail, top tail light was leaking into the uh, header, headliner. Anyway, it's a 2016. I'm glad, I mean, it's minor stuff compared to the major stuff new Toyota products are having, which are, oh my God, I wanna buy any Toyota truck right now for the new engines, the problems they're having, the recall, my God, what's the point? Save your money, keep your old stuff running. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. Let me show you what I'm gonna do gonna be a pain in the butt to record this but you get the gist of it I got my trusty little cheapy Home Depot Ryobi HVAC I'm gonna put that hose over here right here flashlights are hard oh my lord I'm gonna basically just seal that up and see what I can suck out of this thing if there's anything clogging it I have not seen a drip and my AC is running subpar so what I've done to date is in the front of the vehicle, I rinsed off gently with gentle water, the uh, AC condenser. I put a new cabin air filter in, which is in here. You pop that out, it's in. It's really easy. Just pop that out, get a charcoal one, replace that. And next I'm gonna vacuum this out and then I'm gonna run the chemicals up through when I get that and see if that, you know, stops a little bit of the musty odor in here. Uh, and then also maybe hopefully God get some performance because I did have the system checked There was a leak in the Schrader valve, but it only really kind of blows cold not even cold on the driver's side So I don't know man. I know these Tacomas Have a Just naturally low performing ACs, but I don't know any bit I can do to make it work somewhat decent again I will try uh, To get to this evaporator you have to rip the dash out and I'm not ever gonna do that This will be a nightmare all the things you could break just to be a little cooler nah uh so what the plan is like i said vacuum it out boom get your little shop back 
I'll see if anything pops into the can, uh, but odds are I think it's fine. I think it's just maybe have a, I just have a subpar, subpar AC unit, and they did test it, so who knows? Who really knows? Let me show you the condenser I'm talking about because most people don't know the terms. Everything is called something different to somebody. I learned that in engineering. A table to somebody is a table being something different to somebody else. So this silver thing down here, see this? Just gently hose it through. Do not use a power washer, pressure washer. Just gentle water, run it through. I wouldn't even use any chemicals. Unless you really have a lot of baked on bugs and stuff, you can use Simple Green, but the less toxic, the better. Uh, there's some new clean, but that's expensive. Uh, I would just run some water. I did that last night and letting it air out now just to maybe clean out any pores and keep the uh, improve the air circulation. And as always with your AC on these, any car on Tacoma, make sure your intakes are clear. They're on, this is all one big unit scoop, an air scoop, and it does come off if you remove these little fasteners. Just make sure there's nothing down there blocking it. And I did, I popped this up a little bit and it looked fine. All right, that's all I can think of. I mean, it might be a bad condenser going, but I don't know, they did check things. All right, that's it for the Tacoma. Tacoma update 2016 like I always say try what you can to improve your vehicles Keep them from rusting maintain them change all the fluids the differential transfer case uh, Coolant I just did the coolant on this at 48,000 just just to do it because it becomes acidic after time not really miles It's time. It's this is a 2016. So what? eight years later boom Change the tranny. I've seen to change the coolant uh, change the oil Check your plugs. Just keep up. Keep these things running. They'll last as long as possible. You know what I mean? Reasonably. Uh, and then you can surface shield and um, keep them from rusting as well. Keep them and save yourself from spending 90000 bucks on a piece of crap put out by Stellantis, GM, Dodge, Jeep. Oh, my God. And now even Toyota. Ugh. It just makes me, it makes me nervous to go buy a new vehicle if I ever had to. guys this is after vacuuming and uh, I stand corrected I got some brown crap out of here came out you can see right there just the liquid pulled some liquid out just a little bit but still oh my god maybe that's my problem I'm gonna definitely this is telling me look how dirty that is I've got to um, I've got to definitely get that chemical ace uh, um, Toyota AC condenser uh, evaporator cleaner sorry guys I will post a link to it because I think that's the next solution where you spray up the drain hose foam it highly you know chemicals chemicals right and it drains it out and you get all this dirty water oh yeah yeah I'm gonna do a little more vacuuming but it's not dripping or flowing so I just think it's a dirty evaporator hopefully in addition to maybe cleaning up a little bit of the uh, mildewy odor it'll make this a uh, Tacoma AC unit a little more effective. That's the plan.